black folks. This is what we be when we talk about that inappropriate behavior that's displayed by some black folks. A brother by the name of Christopher Gilbert, med student, gets pushed into a lake by one of his white co-workers, Cassie Holland. And this simple-minded Negro had the nerve to say he don't believe that it was done intentionally. It's say, only black person among his so-called group of friends and his co-workers, and you don't think that it was done intentionally or deliberately. Sure it was. Your ass just wants some kind of white acceptance. So much so that it blinds you to the truth. Truth be told, you almost paid for wanting to be accepted by white with your life. Your ass struggled to stay alive for 20 minutes while your white co-workers looked on and did nothing. Your so-called friends, your co-workers just looked on and watched. Why ain't they hop they lily white asses in to help and save you? To pull your behind out if it wasn't done intentionally. Why did a stranger from a nearby restaurant have to jump in to save you? Family, this man's heart and his breath stopped, and he's still doing explain and making excuses for white folks. It's a, if these people were his friends, I hate to see what his enemies look like, truth be told. This goes back to that black inappropriate behavior thing we talked about earlier, family. This phrase was coined by Dr. Claude Anderson, meaning when black folks get beat down by police, they get that Rodney King syndrome of can't we all just get along? Or when parents get up to talk at a press conference where their child was harmed by race soldiers, and the parents of the child call for peace and forgiveness, it's say. Or in the case of this brother right here, Christopher Gilbert, doing a bunch of explaining and making excuses. Or being it all out the now that this was done deliberately to him. Which it was done deliberately to him. All of these things are inappropriate behavior. Family, these undercover white supremacists, these so-called friends of brother Christopher Gilbert, David knew he couldn't swim. And did, none of them bothered to jump in and help save him. This was a racist act performed under the guise and the disguise of them being his friends. This man is still in the hospital, I believe, and doing a bunch of explaining and putting the cape on for these people. On that plantation-based mindset of, oh, the slave master ain't that bad. When in reality, ain't no such thing as a good slave master. Black folks, I'm a teacher little. Your guard should go up, and you should be on high alert when you're the only black person on the job or in a room full of whiteness. I'm not saying be afraid, but stand in your truth and know the opposition you're dealing with, so that if and when something happens, you're not caught off guard by it, standing around looking like Boo Boo the Fool or stuck like Chuck. I believe this brother now suffers from brain damage, if I'm correct. And my message to him or any other black person in the now is wake the hell up. And this brother really needs to find a new group of friends. Because next time, and oh yeah, there'll be a next time, he might not be so lucky. Just my thoughts on the matter. Peace.